All right, what's good YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Tropicana where we're checking out Robert Irvine's public house for dinner. Now, I used to watch a ton of Restaurant Impossible as a kid, so I'm a huge fan of celebrity chef Robert Irvine, and I've never actually been here before, so I'm excited to check it out. Let's head on inside. All right, everybody, here we are seated at Robert Irvine's public house at the Tropicana. This restaurant is enormous, tons of seating. I really like the high ceilings here. It gives it an airy feel. Super approachable and very low key. I actually really like the vibe in here. Now, it looks like the public house has a daily happy hour happening seven days a week between the hours of three and six, as well as eight and 10. You've got draft beers for $6, as well as $2 off pizzas. Not a bad deal that happens every day. Now, I'm not here for that happy hour. I'm here to take a look at the full courses available. So let's go in and start by looking at the drink menu. Alrighty, and here is the cocktail menu here at Robert Irvine's Public House. Here are your cocktails. Feel free to take a pause in the video if you would like to take a closer look at the drinks available. Here's your list of wines, and then your draft beers up here. All of your draft beers, and then you've got bottles and cans down here. Very nice. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any drinking tonight. I do have to drive right after this, but my friend is in town with me today and she's gonna grab a cocktail. We're gonna go and put that order in, and in the meantime, let's take a look at what they've got to eat. And here is the menu at Robert Irvine's Public House. Starting off with the small plates and shareables. That looks pretty good. Ooh, Wagyu beef sliders, orange and chili dry rub. That sounds pretty good. Your list of salads here. I don't know if I'm gonna get a salad, but maybe my friend will. She's much more healthy than I am. Here are your handhelds, public house burger, steak sandwich. Yeah, that all looks really good. Here are some large plates, fish and chips. Ooh, ribs, that all sounds pretty good. The list of sides, you've got your uh, french fries. Ooh, loaded tater tots, that sounds pretty good as well. Here are some pastas. It looks like you got a bucatini and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Pizzas here, now these are $2 off during their happy hour, but a nice little list of pizzas and you can create your own. And two desserts down here, a sundae as well as a creme brulee cheesecake. And that's the menu. All right, everyone, I'd say that's a pretty good looking menu. Now you know how it goes with my videos. Every restaurant is a buffet if you're ready to pay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my order in and I'll catch you in a little bit when my appetizers arrive. All right, everyone, and our appetizers are here. Let me go in and give you a look. I went ahead and got those Wagyu beef sliders as well as some chicken wings in their orange dry rub. I wanted to try their soup of the day, which is a garden vegetable. And my friend being super healthy went ahead and got that Cobb salad. These are all looking really good. Let's go in and give them a taste. All right, first up, a spoonful of their beef and garden vegetable soup. This is actually looking really hearty and there's a great aroma coming off of this. And I know it's 115 degrees outside, but some garden vegetable soup did actually sound kind of good. Hopefully it's as good as it looks. Mm. Oh yeah, I actually really like that soup. The broth here is actually nice and viscous. There's a ton of the beef fat that's been rendered into that soup. It leads to a really deep, beefy flavor, which also makes it hearty and satisfying. The vegetables here are nice. You definitely get a lot of the aromatics as well as the flavor of those root vegetables. I'm actually very impressed. I really like this beef and garden vegetable soup. Alrighty, next up, let's go ahead and try the beef slider. These come with bacon, cheddar, pickles, public house sauce, as well as some crispy onions. They definitely have a nice little feel to them. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Yes, that's a pretty good beef slider right there. Now the bun is soft, although I wouldn't say there's anything super spectacular about it. The beef here is really flavorful, juicy, and it has a nice crust that's been cooked into it. The cheese certainly provides a slight bit of richness here, and the pickle also provides its tangy flavor. I do like the Public House Burger sauce, a slightly tangier Thousand Island that tastes pretty good on this slider overall. And then you do get a nice salty hit from that bacon at the end there. Yeah, I've got no real complaints about this slider. It's pretty good. Now the sliders do come with some accompanying crispy onion straws here, and they do feel nice and crispy in my hands. Let's see how these stack up. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's actually quite tasty. Really nice crisp to those onions, and I really like how they're not ultra oily. I was expecting my fingers to be completely greased up, but it's relatively light. A nice seasoning on them, and you also get a slight hint of sweetness from the onions themselves. It's a nice little side that comes with these sliders. I like those a lot. Alrighty, next up, let's go and try the orange and chili dry rub chicken wings. I'm really liking the color of the seasoning on these wings. It actually reminds me a lot about shake and bake. And I'm really curious as to what the orange and chili tastes like. This looks pretty good. Mm. Wow, that is very interesting, I gotta say. Now off the bat, letting you know, the fry on the chicken is quite good. Nice juicy chicken meat here. It's not dry at all. You definitely get the spice from the chili rub here. But what's really interesting is the orange flavor is quite in your face. However, it's not really a naturally tasting orange sweetness. It's much more of like a, how do I describe this? If you were to take the powder drink tang and then apply that to some chicken wings, I would say that's a pretty spot on comparison. I can't say if I necessarily like it. It's a little too in your face for me. Now let's go ahead and dip it into some ranch and maybe that will uh, kind of balance it out a little bit. Let's see what that tastes like. Hmm. Yeah, you know, oddly enough, when I tried to add the richness of the ranch, it made it even more odd to me. It's a very interesting flavor mix. I don't know if I would say it's personally for me, but you might want to give it a try if tang and spice is what sounds good to you. Alrighty, last but certainly not least on my list of appetizers is a bite of my friend's Cobb salad. Now, she's a huge fan of Cobb salad, loves the flavor. Unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese, but let's go in and give it a taste and see what it's like here. Oh wow, I actually really like that salad. Now typically for me, I'm not a huge Cobb salad fan because of the blue cheese, but here they use an avocado lime dressing. It's creamy, has a little bit of acidity, a very good flavor. The vegetables are all very crisp and fresh here. Yeah, not bad at all. I actually really do like that Cobb salad. All right, everyone, I'd say a pretty good start to the meal. Nice round of appetizers here. Now my friend and I are gonna continue working on a little bit of this and probably take a lot to go because we've got our first round of entrees coming up next. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, and our first round of entrees are here. This is actually looking really good. I went ahead and got the Public House burger along with a side of fries. Now, my friend got the shaved steak sandwich and upgraded her fries to the curry mayonnaise and feta fries. And we also got a side of their loaded tater tots. This is all looking really tasty. Let's go and give it a try. All righty, first up, I want to try these loaded tater tots. I love a good tater tot, and when they're covered in cheese, bacon, and sour cream, they have to be good, right? I'm actually pretty excited for this one. Oh wow, I really like those tater tots. The tots are super crisp and they have a great texture and flavor. Nice and salty with a good potato essence. No real problems with the tater tots there. I actually am in love with the cheese sauce. It's a beer cheese sauce, so it comes with a ton of flavor. The sour cream here provides a nice cooling richness and you definitely get a great salty hit from that bacon. Yep, I'm a fan, I like those tater tots. Alrighty, next up, let's go ahead and try a bite of the Public House Burger. Now this is the standard burger here at Robert Irvine's Public House. Nice thick patty and it looks pretty good. And I'm definitely in the mood for a nice big juicy burger bite today. Yeah, that's pretty good. A very classic tasting cheeseburger here. The bun is nice, although I wouldn't say it's imparting a ton of flavor. The beef is well seasoned and well cooked. I did ask for it medium well today. The vegetables here are fresh and crispy, and they're using that same pH sauce that they had in the sliders, which is really nice. Now that said, you are paying $22 for this cheeseburger, and I gotta tell you, it's not anything super special. It's a very classic tasting cheeseburger, and I feel like you can probably get this for half the price at any diner outside of the strip. Now let's go ahead and try the accompanying fries. Nice thick cut French fry here. Hopefully it tastes good. Yeah. Yes, that's a good tasting french fry. Nice potato flavor here, and they do have a crispy texture. I do think they're a little undersalted, to be honest. And again, similar to the burger, I don't know if this is something special I'd wanna pay extra for. In general, I feel like I'd be able to find this combo at like a mom and pop burger spot for half to third the price. But if you are here at the Tropicana and you're at the public house and you're in the mood for a cheeseburger, you won't be supremely disappointed. Alrighty, next up I wanna try a bite of my friend shaved steak sandwich. I mean, it looks basically kinda of like a Philly cheesesteak to me. Nice grilled peppers here and a cheese whiz like sauce. And I am a fan of Philly cheesesteaks. Hopefully the one here at the public house is good. Oh 
Oh wow, that's actually quite tasty. The bun here is actually imparting a ton of buttery flavor. I really enjoyed that a lot. The steak is tender and well seasoned. It actually has a really nice peppery kick. The grilled onions and peppers here are providing a nice sweetness. And I really love the cook on those vegetables. They're super soft. The cheese with sauce here is salty and rich. And all together, it does come together as a nice steak sandwich. I do like this one a lot. Alrighty, and the last thing to try from this first round of entrees is gonna be a bite of my friend's fries. This was upgraded with the curry mayonnaise as well as feta. It does have a nice pungent aroma. Let's go ahead and see what it tastes like. Mm. Yeah, you know, that's pretty interesting. Now the fries as a base is still gonna have the same concerns as I had with the standard fries. I would say slightly under seasoned, but a decent cook on them. The curry flavor in this mayonnaise is actually incredibly robust. It's very forthcoming. Once you taste the curry, you don't really get to taste much else. I would say the feta is completely lost here. And the bacon, while you get some of that crispy texture, I don't actually taste too much of the saltiness either. That should be a testament as to how forward facing this curry sauce flavor is. If you're in the mood for curry, there's definitely a way to go with these fries. All right, everyone, I think just a couple more bites and we're gonna box up the rest because we have another round of entrees coming. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, and our last round of entrees is here and this is looking really good. Now we went in on an order of their fish and chips as well as a half rack of their St. Louis ribs and we got a pepperoni pizza as well. This is all looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Alrighty, first up, let's go ahead and try a bite of the pepperoni pizza. Super thin crust here. And it looks like a nice amount of cheese as well as a crispy under bottom. I mean, it's never really a wrong time for pizza, you know what I mean? Mm. Wow, I'm surprised you guys, this is really good pizza. Nice thin crust here and it's got a lot of those toasty undersides. The char here is imparting a ton of great flavor. You can tell they have an ultra piping hot pizza oven here. The tomato sauce that they've used has a little bit of a sweet tang to it. You definitely get the oregano and garlic hits here. And the pepperonis are actually incredibly flavorful as well. I'm actually quite surprised. If you come here for the happy hour and you get $2 off these pizzas, I think it's a pretty solid buy. Alrighty, next up, let's go and try the fish from the fish and chips. Look at the size of this thing. This is massive. And this is apparently one of the signature dishes here. Let's see how it stacks up. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. The batter is ultra crispy, though maybe a tad under seasoned. The fish itself has a nice mild flavor and it is flaky and has a great texture. Let's go ahead and uh, try it with some of this tartar sauce here. And let's give that a shot. Oh yeah, much more flavorful with that tartar sauce. There's a lot of dill here, and that creamy texture certainly helps. Overall, I wouldn't say it's a bad piece of fried fish, but I've definitely had better. I don't know if I would return for this one. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try the St. Louis ribs. I was able to smell this barbecue sauce even as they were bringing it up. It's really pungent, and you know I'm a huge fan of barbecue. I'm pumped for this. Wow, that's actually very tasty. The pork meat here is so ultra tender. It's really kind of falling off the bone. Nice and juicy as well. No real dry pork here. I actually really love this barbecue sauce. The smoky element from the wood that they use is really infused here. You get a really nice smoky oak flavor and that tangy sweetness from the barbecue sauce is really on point. I gotta tell you, I'm a fan. I really like these ribs. Alrighty, last but certainly not least of these entrees is gonna be a bite of the coleslaw. The coleslaw was served with both our fish and chips as well as the ribs and the fries we've already tasted. So let's go ahead and try this coleslaw. You know, I wouldn't say that's the best coleslaw I've ever had. The vegetables are fresh and crisp here. Unfortunately, it's severely under seasoned. You get a slight hint of the vinegar, but it really needs a lot more sugar and a ton of black pepper. It kind of just tastes like vegetables. I'd probably end up skipping on that coleslaw the next time. All right, everyone, I'd say we're enjoying our meal today. We're gonna go ahead and take a couple more bites and box up the rest, and it's time for some desserts. We'll catch you in a little bit when our sweets arrive. All right, everyone, and our dessert is here, and we went in on their ice cream sundae. This is an enormous ice cream sundae with vanilla ice cream, caramel chocolate, whipped cream, and candy toppings. And this is looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. 
Got a nice big spoonful here. And I've been going in on a lot of Sundays recently, but I think I'm starting to just kind of become a fan. Let's see how the one here at Robert Irvine's Public House is. Yeah, that's nice. Super soft ice cream, great vanilla flavor there. The chocolate is rich, the caramel is nutty, and they have these really delicious toffee bits that's adding a ton of extra flavor. I don't really have any complaints. This is a solid ice cream sundae. All right, everybody, and that does it for my dinner here at Robert Irvine's Public House. Now, our dinner came out to roughly $224 before tip. And I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed my dinner today. From the appetizers, I can't believe it. The soup was really amazing. And when it comes to the entrees, the pizza was actually quite good, and I was a big fan of those St. Louis ribs as well. I did enjoy that shaved steak sandwich. I would say the cheeseburger was relatively mid, to be honest with you. If you are here at the Tropicana and you're looking for a decent meal, you can't really go wrong with Robert Irvine's Public House. We did have a good time. Now go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy food content from here in Las Vegas, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got so much great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me. Shin. Bye.